we're about to see two wonders of the world, alum bay and the needles. Needles is a row of three stacks of chalk. They stand at 30 meters tall. So in order for us to see this marvelous beauty, we took a chairlift to take us down to the beach. We are on the Isle of Wight, stuck between two wonders of the world, the Allen Bay right in front of me and the Needles right there. Both of these fantastic sites are changing every year. Erosion claims about half a meter worth of uh, sands from the Allen Bay and of course I don't know how much but uh, erosion is still affecting the Needles. That's why these two beautiful sites are changing all the time. Alum Bay is known for a very picturesque cliff. The ever eroding rock is very colorful. Those colors are a result of oxidization in different periods of time. These are the colorful sands of Alum Bay. Just look at them. There are all sorts of colors, pink, brown, white, and they all are mixed in. It's really interesting that you can actually appreciate it from, from the sea a lot better than you can up close, because as you come up close and you look at the sand, you can barely tell any difference. You really have to look close, but the further you step away from it, the greater the, the color mix you can appreciate. It is very hard to judge the distance and scale in the open sea due to the lack of reference points. Luckily, there is a lighthouse which can serve as a perfect reference point when you look at the door and stairs. The name comes from the fourth pillar, which is also called Lot's wife. We cannot see it now because it collapsed during a gigantic storm in 1764. No cliffs are shaped as needles, but the name stayed. We saw needles from the ground we saw needles from the sea and we were compelled to go up that cliff and see the needles and alum bay from the top of the cliffs. Now, as we went up there, the weather started to turn. The sunshine disappeared and meteorologically speaking, probably nothing was happening, but every cell of my body felt that the wind was picking up and it was picking up fast. And just before we went back, we saw these beautiful foxes. Isn't someone lucky to live with a view like that? In Russian, there is a saying, there is no bad uh, weather in nature. And I can't agree more with this one. Just look at that view. So if you like this piece, please like, share and subscribe to my channel because your likes mean a world to me. And until next time, bye-bye.